Hi guys, um, seems I've been doing a lot of videos on other people's slingshots lately, so I thought I'd do a brief one on mine. Um, in the slideshow that you just saw, or that you'll see at the end, I'm not sure how I'm going to piece this together yet, um, you'll see a selection of the slingshots that I have on hand right now. Um, a lot of them I've worked on recently. Um, they're all made out of what I like to think of as recycled or salvaged wood. Um, basically they come from uh, downed wood already or from the local brush pile. So basically I'm taking a piece of wood that would just end up laying there and rotting and trying to do something with it. As you'll notice uh, my slingshots are pretty basic. Um, I like the natural look of them. I like the feel of them so I don't do a lot of carving and, and do a lot of unnecessary things. Um, they're rustic, I guess you would say. One guy said they're gnarly. Um, so I guess that's a good thing, but they're, they're what I do. Um, they have a poly coat on them to protect them from you know the elements. Uh, some of them have a little bit higher shine than others. Some have a little less of a shine. Um, it's just kind of the way it goes. Uh, they're all set up with Chinese tubes. Um, just if out of convenience sake and because I enjoy them. Um, but anyway, that's the ones I've done. Those are probably, most of them will eventually end up on eBay. And uh, if you happen to want one, uh, feel free to bid and thank you very much if you do. Um, but today I just wanted to show you Goliath. Uh, this is Goliath. Um, it's my personal slingshot and it will not go up for sale. Um, I put it next to a fish hunter just so you'd have a little size comparison here. Um, Goliath is made out of oak. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest forks I've made. Uh, I like big forks. I like wide forks. Um, I like natural wood. Um, and that's my mark, I guess you would say. Um, but uh, they're set up with Chinese tubes. A very simple setup. Drill a hole, pull the tube through, flip it over, and you're good to go. Um, I use 1745 and 2040 mostly. Uh, I enjoy the 2040 for target shooting uh, because I have a bum arm, which I've mentioned in previous uh, videos. Um, and it's just a nice, easy pull, and it's fine for target shooting. Uh, this one has 1745 on it, packs a little more punch. I know some people who hunt with it. I'm not a hunter, so I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, that's everybody to each his own. Uh, but anyway, these are my those are my slingshots. This is Goliath, um, you know, nice big fork, and I figure if I miss it, I can always beat it to death with uh, with Goliath here. Um, Goliath has some cracks in him, um, which is one of the reasons he'll never go up for sale. Uh, I don't like selling things with cracks in it. Uh, as big as this fork is, it could have a crack in it the size of the Grand Canyon, and it wouldn't hurt it structurally. But uh, this is Goliath. I said that three times now. I'll shut up. And it's one of my natural forks. Um, not quite as well finished as some because, you know, it's mine. I wasn't planning on ever putting it up on eBay. And uh, I like it the way it is. So those are my natural forks. And I hope you like them. Uh, if you don't like them, that's fine too. Uh, but uh, they're just basically the way nature made them. And so. Have a good day, and thank you for watching. Once again, Fish Hunter Ergo, Goliath. Have a good day. Bye.